So over the next several days and today, uh, we're starting our training cycle for the very first World Cup races for the uh, 2016 and 2017 uh, pair of bobsled and pair of skeleton competition. And uh, so we're here over here in Park City and we're gonna be doing our training runs over the next several days. And then on the 20th, we have our first races of the season. And then the 23rd, we have our second races of the season. So everybody's a little bit excited and a little bit nervous at the same time. So what's at stake right now uh, in, during the competition and once training start is, uh, you know, this is the, these are the first World Cup races of the season. This determines our rankings uh, as we go into Europe and then determines further our rankings heading into the World Championship races in Semeritz. Um, for us Americans, there's a lot at stake because there's so many of us out here competing in the bobsled discipline that we essentially, um, we, we have to place uh, well enough to be able to go to Europe. So there's so many of us that are banking very, very heavily on these two races to make sure that we can actually get to Europe. So as this sport is uh, is relatively new, we, we received word in September that we were provisionally accepted into the 2022 Paralympic Games. So this is kind of a, a pivotal year for us because uh, not only are we still trying to grow the sport, we're trying to get more athletes in. We're trying to make uh, two divisions. We're trying to separate out the seated bobsled division and the push bobsled division so that those of us amputees can push and load the sled. Uh, but there's a lot at stake over, over this season. Um, the biggest issues uh, or biggest things that we're, we're really looking forward to is, you know, there's, we, have, uh, we have word that we're gonna have some, some new nations joining us in Europe. We're really excited about that. A lot of us are looking to, we're, we're all competitive athletes. We want to beat the best of the best. So it's not a situation where we, any of us wants to win on a technicality. We wanna win by beating the proper people. So this entire season is gonna be very, very competitive. As you, if you were here for the World Championship last year, you saw how competitive we were. And it's just gonna grow and grow as we keep moving forward. It's really starting to take off now, and of course, you know, being provisionally accepted to the uh, Paralympic Games is just, you know, boomerang the sport, um, launched it now into another phase where people see what we're doing, um, the fun, the enjoyment, the challenge, uh, and we're on the same tracks as able-bodied people, so we got to take the same curves, we got to hit the same G's, and we have just as much fun, if not more. So it really means a lot to us, and we're just so excited to see the sport develop and, and where it is now. It's really, really exciting. After this event, we go to Europe, where we have uh, some new tracks in Lillehammer, Norway, um, also in Germany, uh, Oberhof, Germany, and then uh, the championships, all these other tracks lead up to the World Cup championships, which will be held in St. Moritz, Switzerland. And it's just so exciting to see where the sport is right now. And this year, as we continue to progress and fulfill all of the requirements, which we have pretty much done, but the International Paralympic Committee uh, does want to see the sport even continue to grow further. So um, we hope to uh, be a part of that. I feel blessed to be able to participate with Team USA. I'm looking forward to some good runs today and uh, for the rest of the week and bringing home some gar some hardware. This is my, my home track in my hometown, so uh, I'm pretty excited and I'm really excited to see all the athletes from the different countries here. If anybody out there is interested in wanting to learn more about the Adaptive Sports Program, the uh, Para Bobsled Program, uh, if they're local here or even if they're, they're not, if they're located somewhere else, um, our organization is the U.S. Adaptive Bobsled and Skeleton Association, USABSA.org. Um, there's an area there where you can find out more how to get involved with uh, maybe some introductory development programs. And then we usually refer those athletes to the U.S. Federation, which is the USABS. And if you do usabs.org, I believe, that'll take you to Team USA, where there's some Parabob recruiting information there as well.